Who is the greatest NFL receiver of all time? I'm no football expert, but I would say it's probably J Money Rice, Jerry Rice. Also pretty good? Steve Young. Not at receiver, but at quarterback. He's probably fine at receiver, but he didn't have to because he threw it. This binder, which I have never opened, has the set. It's the 90... Mm, sorry, messed up. It's the 1986 Topps NFL set. We're going to look and see if those two cards are in here. I have no idea if they are. Follow me on this journey. Shall we go? I keep spinning back and forth. Shall we go? Here we go. Now, for reference, Jerry Rice's PSA 9. Oh, no, no, lied. PSA 10. It's sold. These are inserts. Look at those. Don't care about them, record breakers. If there's somebody good, I'm passing. I think Reggie White, one of his rookie. Nope, I don't even know if I said his name right. One of the things that you keep in mind too, whenever you send these off to get graded, if they grade a 10, which is like very difficult to do, like you could take a card directly out of the pack and it's probably not gonna get a 10 because of the centering. And what you do is you send it off to PSA, you pay like now I think it costs like a hundred bucks for the cheapest service you can get. And wait, was that Steve Young? No, it was Dan Marino. Sorry, I knew it was a quarterback. And the Jerry Rice PSA 10, which is perfect, last couple sold for, I think, $90,000. So let's hopefully do that. I looked up the numbers before. It's like 161 and 364. So we're close. We're getting close. Jerry Rice should be coming up. This will be his rookie card. Look at that. It's missing. Dang it. Wasn't in there. Sorry, guys. Okay, but then we can look for Steve Young. He was in the 300s. Let's look and see if we got Steve Young. 300, 300, 300. Okay. And he would have been not on the Falcons. Was he 364? Is that what I had him at? Three. I guess that would have been Steve Young right there. Yep, 364. He's missing. Swing and a miss, ladies and gentlemen. So I looked it up and I was wrong. It's 374 and it's, it's missing as well. Wow. I know, it stinks, but guess what we just found? The 1987 set right behind it. And I just looked up the most valuable card in that set. It's a Jim Kelly rookie card, 1987. So it turns out he was drafted by the Bills. Didn't want to play for him. Like new upstart league. Did great in it for two years. Then the league folded. The Bills were like, yo, homie, come on back home. And then won a Super Bowl. And then I think it said, I read online, they went to like two or three more Super Bowls in a row. Lost Roll. Lost all those. But they won the one. Let's look and see if this card is in here. 362 is what we're looking for. Here we go. Let's see if we can redeem this. There's the 200s. There's 348. Here we go. And we are missing 362. So uh, that's what we call a strikeout, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, not every not every binder is a W. Not every binder is a Kobe Bryant rookie card. You know what I'm saying? Like one of these chicken nuggets. Man, would love to find one of these in there. What did I miss? 